All right, guys, so I've got a nice little mess going here on my uh, my tabletop here. You'll notice my ugly green towel is gone and my uh, my little whatever that was for my uh, countertop I had. So now I'm at the uh, ugly plastic table instead of an ugly green towel. So before I had somebody moving out of the house that I was in and then I moved out. So now I'm all moved in and place is kind of a wreck but it, it's uh it's home now so i wanted to go over some different charging solutions with you guys stuff that i've seen and that i actually use so just representatively right here we have the nightcore digicharger d4 and we've got the nightcore um10 and we've got the uh olight i don't even know what it's called and then uh just because it's a little bit different than most of the other ones. We've got the Phoenix uh, charger that they use for the rechargeable lights there. So again, these are all representative. Uh, other companies do make chargers very similar to this. This is kind of a, as far as information goes when you're charging, it's kind of a middle of the road one. Uh, it, it's a very good charger, it works very well. It does not have any type of cover on it. That seems to bother some people and uh, questions I've seen online. Uh, it does give a pretty fair amount of information, uh, voltage and time at milliamps that it's charging at there. So you can go into that and you can see it lights up a nice plate there. And got a uh, nickel metal hydride, so that's a double A rechargeable there. And you can see 250 milliamp hours. So it doesn't give you a percentage, but it does tell you the voltage. Does tell you the milliamps it's charging at and it does tell you how long it's been charging at and you can see all that's there and it also tells you the battery type over here it says nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium so it recognizes it's a double a battery charger type and it says charge mode there and it gives you a little bit more information but those are the only things that i'm really worried about and this is a customized 18650 from olight this is the battery that came in the s2 harp baton and you can see right there it says lithium ion, 4.1 volts, it's charging at 505 milliamps, and it's at 4.17 volts, so and the milliamp hours changes there. So you can see we have two different battery types charging simultaneously. This, this would charge actually four of each battery type that's in there, AA or 18650 lithium ions. Um, most of the chargers I've seen like this will charge pretty much anything. They'll charge nickel metal hydrides, they'll charge nickel cadiums, charge lithium ions of uh, varying size. So you get 18650. They'll also do the little 16340s and then the 14500s there. So I, I really like this charger and this particular one has a night mode. So the display is actually still on, if you can see that, but it's just super dim. And then it lets you actually change what you're looking at there. And then tap that, it'll go back to the first battery. So you can see how that works there. So I really like that one. That's good for, you know, I bought that when I was using uh, double A's and, uh, you know, basically Antelope Pros were powering my entire life at the time. So that's great for that. And this one, come, this particular model came with the wall charger that I'm using here but it also came with a uh, car charger. So it'll plug in there and then it'll plug into your car cigarette lighter port. So it gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of flexibility in how to charge there for charging multiple cells simultaneously. And of course, uh, if you buy this, the advantage is you can charge multiple cells, but you don't have to. You can always charge just one cell if you need to. So that's that there. And this one is uh, also from Nightcore. This is the UM10 which I, it, this might have been the first one I bought actually, I'm not sure. Really like this one, it's uh, pretty compact and you can see the USB plug just kind of tucks safely away in there. And, but the way it's actually powered, is through a micro or USB on the top there. Do that, and I've got my little uh, battery packs here. And you can see this guy lit up and I did that. So you see the zero there. Okay. So 
So the zero there, and now here you can see 98, so it gives you an actual percentage. There's not a lot of different information you can give there, but it does give you an actual percentage of what it's charging at. So something else this can do, you see this little switch here, you can actually use it as a throughput through here. This isn't just a like a dummy plug to store your USB cable, it's actually a USB plug, and you can use it as a dummy throughput to charge another device, phone, or you know some other battery charger, whatever there. So I really like this guy. This will charge everything except for your rechargeable AA's. It will charge 14500s, but you saw there it said 1%. It will not charge nickel metal hydrides, and it will not charge, uh, what do you call it, uh, nickel cadiums there. So, and to store your USB cable, this is the included USB cable with it, by the way. It just goes under there, nice clip there. And then it just kind of wraps around. There's, I'm sure somebody else can come up with a better way, but this is how I've been doing it. It just keeps it nice and out of the way. So this is a single, so uh, just nickel, uh, nickel metal hydride, double A cell basically, just to give you a general idea of how how big this charger is, really not big at all. So an advantage of this over this type is that if you have a car stereo with a high enough output, you can actually charge batteries through your car stereo. Uh, that way if you're using your cigarette lighter adapter for you know, a cigarette lighter or it's charging another phone or charging a whatever, you still have the option if your car stereo can handle it. And then you know a lot of newer cars, they actually have USB ports in addition to your regular car charging things. A lot of them will have it down by where the cigarette lighter would traditionally be. Uh, the one I've been most intrigued with lately is this uh, Olight one, mostly because of just how compact it is. And then also partially because it can charge pretty much anything. So this is the entire charger. Again, there's a double A battery. That's how compact that is. So all this guy does, is you plug it into you plug it into a USB power source and you can see that flash in red and one magnetic end goes there one magnetic end goes there and you can see right there it lit up it's charging and when the battery is full it will read that the battery is full and now it'll turn a solid green so notice this does charge nickel metal hydride and then it also charges if you put it on there right, it will also charge uh, lithium ion. So this is uh, this battery is pretty close. These other two chargers said it was actually very close to full. This one is saying it is full, which is actually a. Uh, I really like this little charger here. So you can see it's saying uh, it will charge lithium ion or nickel metal hydride, and it charges at 750 milliamps there. So this is uh, it will charge. This little thing will charge just as fast for a single cell as this or this, and that's all it is right there. And the last type I had was uh, the Phoenix charger, which isn't a bad charger. I know some people like the system, some don't. So it's another USB one, but it's a little bit different. And you got your little magnetic thing there to your magnetic port there. And oh, look, nothing's happening. Phoenix changed the way these work. You actually have to click the lights. So the power of the light is actually on right now, even though nothing's coming out. The power is actually on. And when it's full, it'll turn a solid green there. And just to show you it's on, there you go. Then you turn that off there. So it's just a different way to do it. An advantage of this is you have this charging, but this is still a micro USB port. So you can still use it for if you have a micro USB phone or tablet or anything else, including another battery charger, see that powered on there, uh, this will work for it. So it's kind of an advantage. It's probably going to help some people cut down on a little bit of cord clutter. You know, it's just one less cord that you need to carry. Or even if you do carry a second cord, it's one less cord that you're going to need to break out for the most part. You know, the other one could just stay tucked in a bag there. And that's about it. All right, guys, these are the charging options that I use uh, pretty much all the time. Uh, for the most part, I'm using, uh, for my everyday carry light outside of work, I'm using the Olay S2 Arbiton, and I'm doing a kind of a coin flip between that guy, and then I've got a, uh, 
we call it Zebralite. Is it the SC600 Mark III? And I thought about getting the Mark IV, but it sounds like it's pretty much the same thing, just the output modes are a little bit different. So I'll be going over that light in the near future here. And I have something else that's it's another light, but it's a little bit different than most of the other lights I'm going over. It's a, more on the tactical side. I just wanted to give it a shot and try it out because, you know, somebody came out with a tactical light and it doesn't cost $8,000. So on a practical day-to-day -day use for somebody like me, it's just really not practical. But I understand there are uses for actual tactical lights, the one and two mode ones. I do understand that. It's just not the reason that I carry a light for the most part. But I wanted to take a look at that because a uh, different company came out with something a little bit less expensive than your average Streamlight Surefire and that. And then I wanted to give it a shot and see if it's actually a quality product or not. All right, guys. So that's all I've got for this time around. Give me a thumbs up if you like this or found it informative at all. Consider subscribing. I've got more stuff on the way. You can take a look at the videos I've already posted in the past. And if you have any questions, go ahead and just leave a comment down there and I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Thank you. Take care.